Billy from Barbecue here, and today we're going to smoke a turkey. Let's get cooking. So the first step in smoking our turkey is going to be to brine it. Now I've gone ahead and ordered online off of thebriner.com this brining bucket. Now this is a food grade bucket specifically designed for brining. It comes in a few parts. It comes with a lid. I ordered it as a kit, so I have two packages of brine mix as well. The bucket, and then there's this plate, removable plate. So the ribs on the side of the bucket work in conjunction with this plate. Once I have my brine made and my turkey sitting in the brine, I'm going to go ahead and put this plate in and lock it into place, and that's going to keep the turkey underneath the brine for the duration of the brine. We're going to go ahead and mix this up. Our turkey will sit overnight in the brine, and it'll be all ready for smoke tomorrow. So I have a chimney of coals that's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the vents, wide open. pan a little bit. Now by putting this chimney of coals in first, we're going to have a nice bed of coals to light our wood. And now I'm going to go ahead and introduce some of my oak splits onto the coals. We're also going to open the damper on the top of our smoker all the way open. We want to get a nice airflow going through the smoker. So I've gone ahead and I've pulled the turkey out of our brine. Now I'm going to pat it down with uh, some paper towels and dry it. Uh, I'm going to spray it with some oil as a binder for our rub that we made. I'm going to give it a light rub and then it's going to be ready for the smoker. So let's go ahead and just get some paper towels. I'm going to dry it off. Now that the turkey's all dried off, I'm going to go ahead and use my Misto. Uh, you can put any kind of oil in here. Uh, I have some canola oil in here. You can use olive oil, whatever. Um, what it does is it, it aerosols any kind of oil, so you don't have to buy aerosol cans from the store. Um, so you can put any kind of oil in here. It's a very handy thing to have. So this we're going to put on as a binder. We're going to cover it. Not only will it be a good binder for our rub, but it's going to help to give the, the bird a nice brown color as it smokes. Now that we've sprayed a light coat of oil on the bird, we're going to go ahead and apply our rub uh, to give the skin a little bit of flavor. We don't have to go real heavy. The flavor for the meat was imparted in our brine. So this is just going to give it a nice appearance and it's going to make the skin delicious right like that I think we're good to go so as we've been prepping everything our cooker has gotten up to temperature we've actually gone over a little bit so now I can go ahead and cut this back I'll cut it about halfway back and I'll keep an eye on it once this gets running at the temperature you want uh, you really don't have to do much other than add wood every now and then. So I cut it back a little. We're going to get the temperature in between uh, 275 and 300. That's my target temp. We're going to be monitoring temperatures today in the smoker with our Thermoworks smoke. Uh, we're going to be monitoring the meat temperature as well as the pit temperature. So we'll be good to go. And I'll show you that setup when I'm done. So now I've got my turkey all set up in the smoker. I've put it almost in the middle of the smoker. I have my drip pan underneath. I have a temperature probe in the thickest part of the breast, making sure I don't hit any bone. That would give me a false read. I have my pit temperature 
behind the turkey at great level. I want to know what kind of heat we're throwing at the turkey. And I've put it in with the legs and thighs towards the end where the heat's coming from. So if this was a regular offset and the heat was coming from here, I'd have it turned the other way. The breast meat, I don't want that to get blasted with heat. We want to be at about 160 to 165 in the breast. And we want to be at about 180 in the thigh. So that's okay if the thigh gets hit with heat. So we're going to shut the lid. I'm going to add some wood. And now we're off to the races. We'll see you in a little bit. So about an hour and a half into the cook, I had the color that I wanted on the turkey. So I didn't want it to get any darker. It had a nice uh, dark brown color to it. So I wanted to tent it. I did tent it with foil. Uh, so now we're cooking it covered until we hit our target temperature. So it's gotten all the smoke that it's going to get. We're just bringing the internal temperature to where we want it. And it should be good to go. I hope that you took something good out of it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.